BMX was my, my freedom. I think back in the 80s, we weren't sure where this was going, if it was going to be a fad or... I guess it was just a quest to progress. And you know, you'd, you'd see a kid do a trick and you'd want to do it better or do it smoother. In 83, 84, 85, you couldn't turn your head without seeing the kid on a BMX bike. Oh, you, you rode ramps, you rode dirt, you rode flatland. You did, just did it all. And we rode, didn't matter, summer, winter, you know, rain, shine. You know, somehow we were riding. In the early 1980s, groups of young teenagers across New England that didn't fit the mold of traditional sports set off to do something just a little bit different. They jumped on their BMX bikes to break new ground in this sport called freestyle. I also remember a ton of kids uh, making all kinds of noise and, and creating all kinds of excitement, learning how to do BMX freestyle. They all just kind of contributed to this this dream in their own little way. And we did it as a group. You know, we were a close-knit group. There's no other place in this country, I believe, that there is a bond like there is here in New England. You know, nothing was handed to us. We had to go out and do it. We just did things ourselves, you know, because we had to. That being in that scene at that time totally contributed. It made, you know, formed, shaped me and who I was as a, as a rider. You know, all of us, you get on this mission and that's, you know, that, that's, all, I, that's all I thought about is, is riding. Once I got on the bike and I started doing my tricks, I just felt alive. New England, I don't got anything to say about New England. <laughs>